Alexa, what's the weather like? Right now in Princeton, it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit with blue skies and sun. Alexa, shuffle sounds like J. Cole. happening guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be doing a study with me getting ready for midterms because it is midterms week so right now it's saturday meaning i have today sunday and then monday to get ready for my first exam so hopefully this video will be able to share some light on how i study what tips and tricks that i'm going to be using to manage my time most efficiently as well as just prepare myself for a wide variety of different examinations so i have something for microeconomics philosophy and then astronomy so i'm just gonna be breaking that up this weekend and trying to tackle it as best i can i just got ready it's honestly about noon because i decided to sleep in a little bit today so i'm ready for the entire day but I'm gonna heat up this burrito and then we're gonna go ahead to the library. <laughs> To be honest guys, midterms is actually probably one of the hardest parts of the academic year because unlike finals where we have reading period where we don't have to go to classes, midterms you still have to go to your lectures and your precepts and then on top of that get ready for your exam. So it really is a difficult time but you just kind of have to be on top of your exam schedule and know when you need to prepare for everything. So in order to be the most proactive, just make sure you plan ahead and know exactly when your exam deadlines are and what you need to do to get ready for that the best. I uh, actually could go for a little bit more in here and they're all great they're covering a ton of different topics so i'm going to try to cover at least the majority of the topics that are asked about i hope you enjoy it this is a pretty the good boy. question to start with if you could choose one can All right, the weather is looking beautiful today. It's actually gotten a little bit colder, so that's why I'm definitely bundling up right now. But I'm headed to meet up with a friend to study for microeconomics. So for my microeconomics class, there are obviously a ton of lecture notes and lecture slides. So what I've done is actually printed them out one by one, page by page, but I put four of them front and back so that I can go through all the slides pretty quickly. I'm gonna mark them up with my highlighters, pens, and pencils just to make sure that I have everything down. And then from there, we're gonna work on the practice exams and the review material. Let's get it. All right, so right now I've gone through most of my lecture slides. I'm probably on the last few pages, but then we're gonna run through some practice problems and the review sheets that the professor has given us. And that's always super helpful because the professors are actually just giving you a basic outline of what the test is going to cover and not going to cover. So if you just look over that and make sure you know all the topics, the ins and outs of it, how to solve for the formulas, the equations, then you should definitely be prepared for your exam. Alright, so I just left studying with my partner. Now I'm heading to Firestone, which is our biggest library. I'm gonna meet up with some other people. When it comes to studying for midterms, like I said, I like to split up my time and my days depending on what exams I have coming up. So I just spent about two hours working on micro. Now I'm gonna go work on philosophy. Safe! Why'd you get the boba, bro? <laughs> it was in the fridge. You got the baby boy out today. You brought the baby gun. Guys, I've switched up my vlogging setup a little bit. I'm actually using my brother's camera because I'm in the market for a new camera. I don't really know what I want to get yet, especially because I have to pick out a lens as well and figure out what's going to be the best setup for vlogging, photography, and filming. <sighs> if anyone has any suggestions, leave them down below. I've been eyeing the um, Sony a7 III, which obviously I've shot on before, but I'm debating if I want to switch over to like a Lumix. Suggestions are open, safe, any Midterm study tips. Definitely start early. Facts. Don't wait till the last minute or the last week. <laughs> uh, make sure you get prepared because this season is brutal. 
I mean, what we were saying earlier is that like, yeah, Princeton semesters are super short, meaning that you should definitely plan ahead, plan early, and get started on all your work so that you don't have things piling up, so that you're able to study with enough time and you're not rushing everything. <laughs> I got breath my vlog, bro. <laughs> Firestone is so packed right now, there's so many people. Taking a little break from studying, gonna grab a quick dinner. Alright, it was a pretty productive day of studying. I'm probably gonna finish up later tonight or finishing tomorrow for sure. But right now I'm so hungry. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, yeah, it's in my head for Taking a little study break, FaceTime me. Today I'm going to be finishing up getting ready for some of my exams. The way that I'm going to prepare today is just kind of break down each subject and kind of go through the different things that I need to cover, whether it's lecture slides, the homework, going through problem sets. I wrote those all down so I can checklist them as I go through it. Right now I'm headed to the library, so it's going to be Got back to my room. It's been a long day of studying, especially with all the midterms that I've got going on. Tomorrow's my first exam, so I'm definitely going to try and get a lot of sleep and make sure that I wake up early and get a good breakfast. Now, lately, what I've been using to relax and anytime I'm stressed is actually CBD products. And what CBD stands for is cannabidi oil, which is a hemp from the THC plant. But it's completely legal in all states. And the sponsor of today's video, Green Rose, actually sent some over for me to check out. And it's actually been helping me fall asleep earlier anytime I'm dealing with like muscle soreness after the gym or if I'm just dealing with a lot of stress, like I said. These gummies are great and easy way to implement CBD on the day to day so if I just take one of these before I go to bed it just helps me sleep a lot better I also got the skin relief cream sometimes when it's dry and itchy my skin will get really rashy so this has been helping soothe that pain and they also have CBD oil which once again helps with all these effects as well now compared to a lot of other brands out there the reason I decided to work with Green Roads is that their products are always top quality and they always make sure that they're being super transparent with their customers they make sure everything's factory tested and they have everything on the labels they even have a QR code where you can actually go and see the lab results for yourself guys if you've been dealing with things like stress muscle soreness or sleeping problems then definitely check out some products from green roads if you head to the link in my description and use the code nicholas che you're actually going to be getting a discount on your products they also have a 30 percent sale going on right now so i will have that linked in my description make sure to go check it out but right now i just popped in one of these gummies i'm about to head to bed and then wake up early to get ready for my test tomorrow all right guys it is the day before my microeconomics exam i went to office hours earlier today and then i'm going over some practice problems and trying to get a last minute review before i take the exam right now i'm posted up in the library i actually just edited a little bit because i had to get a video out for a client but honestly when it comes to midterms week it's all about time management and really prioritizing the things that you need to get done especially if you have other commitments or you have other projects going on i've been emphasizing a lot throughout this video that you should definitely plan ahead and know what you need to get done so that things don't catch up on you on the last minute it's very easy to get overwhelmed and stressed during this time so something that my friends and i do is actually just make a list of everything you, that you need to get done and just kind of split them up into different categories or branches like for me personally right now i have a bunch of stuff going on so i need to focus on my midterms obviously but I still need to focus on my junior paper, which is a big category. Things like study abroad, things like work opportunities and jobs. Like these are all big goals and categories that I have to tackle, but breaking them down into more manageable chunks and having checklists that you can actually go through and make sure that you complete each action just
just makes you a lot more productive and make sure that you're being the most efficient with your time. So that's something that I personally done and I think will be super helpful for you guys.